welcome back to another vlog of Wayne. For this video, I am going to be showing you guys my wig collection because I know a lot of you have been asking me about my wigs and where I get them from. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, my hair did get damaged early this year. I know a lot of you are shocked with my hair actually being dark. Uh, just to let you guys know, once upon a time, I was completely platinum blonde. Um, all of last year and before that I have been a blonde just that unfortunately early this year end of last year early this year my hair got really damaged because of the bleach and it was fried off so this year I've been just avoiding the bleach I haven't been applying any heat to it whatsoever because I'm trying to let it heal and let it grow out again so that I can rock my own hair again but in the meantime, I've been wearing wigs, which is why in different videos you see me uh, with different hairstyles and different wigs. I had been holding off on telling you guys where I get my wigs from um, for a certain reason, which I'll get into uh, further in the video. Let me show you guys what wigs I have. You guys have seen this one in uh, probably more most of my videos. Uh, I just got this little cute bob cut one which is basically the color that this one was i just need to wash it a couple times for it to reach this color i'm not a fan of this i don't know it has like this silver purple tone which i don't mind at all i think it looks really good on me but i had asked for more of a blonde platinum blonde type of look and this is more of an ashy tone but i'll get into that um in a couple minutes this is 100% human hair. The one I'm wearing right now is 100% human hair. And this one is 100% human hair as well. These are the lace front wigs and they do look pretty natural. I've had a lot of people not even know that I was wearing a wig unless I told them. Or if they're a wig person then I feel like I could tell if someone's wearing a wig. Just because I know what wigs look like and I put them on myself. Yeah, anyways that's besides the point all of these three I got them from the same person I also have this one which you guys did see me in as well this one is not a hundred percent human hair I think it's mainly synthetic hair and it's partly human hair from what I remember I think but this one looks really good on um, it's more of a natural look and the ones I'm going to show you guys right now, I got them from actually some little boutique in LA or the Callejones basically. They have, there's this uh, place called Hueras Pelucas and they have a bunch of different wigs and you could get them for a really, really good deal. I have this other one, which is the same as the one I just showed you guys, but it's actually like a light pink color. I haven't worn this one. Um... I haven't known what to wear it with. I have always wanted pink hair and when my hair was actually platinum blonde, I was actually going to transition to a pink look, but unfortunately it was damaged and then I never got to it. So hopefully I can get to wear this one sometime soon. It has the dark root as well, so it makes it look more natural when you have the dark root because it blends in more with your hair, you know, you're naturally a brunette. Then I have this really long, beautiful one, which is like a black. I've worn it probably once out, and I don't know. I've, I've said it a billion times before. I don't feel like I like the dark look on me. Maybe if I go cut it, it is a little too long for my preference. Uh, maybe if I go cut it into like something shorter that I would like, like a bob cut or something even like this, I'd probably like it a little bit more. I just feel like it's too much for me. And then I have one more which actually fell on the floor. And by the way, the black one that I showed you guys, that one is 70% human hair and 30% synthetic hair. So these are more pricey um, than the ones that are more synthetic hair because obviously, obviously there's more human hair in them. And uh, from what they told me, I haven't tried it, they, they did tell me that I could style those. And then I have this really blonde one as well. This is what it looks like. It's super blonde. I haven't worn it because, same, it's way too long. I need to go get it cut to like something I would wear. And this one is like a yellow blonde. I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting, but it's super, super blonde. Um, 
I've been wanting to see if I can get it toned, but like I said, I don't know because this one is like the black one. It's 70% human hair and 30% um, synthetic, so I don't know if it would do any damage to it. But, I mean, I wouldn't wear it this tone, so regardless, I feel like I should just try it and see if it works. Hopefully to get it something to like this and maybe just have a different cut to it. But it's super long. Look, you guys. You guys can probably see how long it is. And I think long hair is beautiful, but I love my short hair. I like I like rocking it short. I've been rocking it short short since I think I moved to Bakersfield so it's been like three years maybe two and a half I used to just use a lot of extensions before and then I moved over here and the heat was super crazy so I was like you know what I'm gonna go back to short hair rock my own hair and all I would do would was add clip-ons just to give it more volume to my hair but I wouldn't add clip-ons for the length just to basically like I said give it volume so this is my wig collection. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The ones you mainly see me with. This one you guys saw me in a couple of videos um, with. You have seen me with this one, with this little short one. I loved wearing this one in the summer because like I said, it was super hot. And it would look just look cute with like cute summer dresses and stuff. This one I just got it recently. And it's really cute these are made with really good quality but anyways like I said the other ones are from LA they gave me a pretty good discount if you guys go to Hueras Pelucas I'll try to post their address or post it down on the description box if you try to get more than one wig they do try to give you a good deal I don't remember how much I spent on them I want to say it was probably somewhere around three or four hundred dollars for all of them together so it's four wigs I think, like I said, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I do remember these, the 70% ones being a little bit more on the pricier side. But they have a great, they have a huge selection. Um, if you guys are aiming for something cheaper, this is definitely where you guys, I would recommend for you guys to go because these are more pricey. They're, I want to say it, they're worth it. Um, you just got to make sure you take care of them to make them last, but they are pricey. Um, I decided to invest in it because, like I said, I had damaged ass hair and I couldn't do anything with it. So I had to go through the wig route because I didn't want to rock little ass short hair. My choice was to not do that. So let's get into where I got these wigs from. They are from the same uh, place. I know a lot of you have asked me and the reason why I haven't basically told anyone where I got them from was because I had a really horrible experience with this person that sells them. I want to start by saying her work is amazing. I'm not bashing on her work. She made beautiful wigs. It was just the customer service side that was pretty much bad. So I'm going to tell you guys where I got them from. I just want you guys to know what I experienced, what I went through. Um, that way you guys, you know, if you guys make the purchase, it's on you if you want to proceed that route. Like I said, they're beautiful wigs. It was really unfortunate that it didn't work out because I definitely would have made more purchases from this girl. It's just that the customer service was horrible. There was um, errors with my wig and I just had a very horrible experience with her. So let me just tell you guys a little bit of what happened. At the end of the day, you guys can decide if you know you guys want to make a purchase from her. Like I said, this is from my experience. And I'm only putting it out there because I know a lot of you guys want to know where I got the wigs from. I don't want you guys to think that I'm keeping it from you and that I don't want you guys to know where I got the wigs from. But since I'm going to put it out there, I want you guys to know what I experienced that way. If something similar happens to you, you guys are at least are already warned. Um, I got them from uh, this girl. I think she's under Tierra's Way on Instagram. I'll go ahead and post it down here. And yes, her wigs, if you go look at her page, her wigs are bomb. They are bomb and she does amazing work. Like I said, it sucks that I had this experience with her because I would have loved to make more purchases from her. So this wig was gifted to me, by the way, but the same person made it. 
Um, I mentioned before that this one was really short, so I wanted something with more length and more volume. Uh, which is where this wig came in. Okay, so the wig itself was $600. Um, I did do a rush order, so I paid $50 extra. That way I would get it sooner. I initially, when I reached out to her, had told her, and according to her, it was her assistant that was handling this and that messed it up, but I feel like she made the wig. She should have confirmed what she was doing, whatever. I don't know how she works, but I had asked for a... Oh, just kidding. I was $650. Because uh, she had coded me at 16 at 600 for the 16 inch. So I, I ended up going for the 18 inch, which is this one. And I asked for a blonde with dark with dark root. And this was August 2nd. Okay. So let me show you guys basically the picture that I sent, which is one of Khloe Kardashian's. That's the color and the root I was going for. I paid the rush order, so I paid $700 for this wig, okay? And um, I sent it through PayPal. There was there was an issue with the payment that I guess I had to put on there that everything was okay with the wig and that I had received it for her to get the money. And that was the only way she was going to send me the wig. So I went to go confirm it. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to file a dispute because it said on there that once I confirmed it, I couldn't go back and file a dispute if I didn't get the wig. So that was one thing. And then um, she even said, we've sold hundreds of wigs in the last year and this is the first time this happened. Per PayPal, this is a one of. This should be sending you an email. If not, you can go on PayPal. So I went to go confirm it. Then I got an email. This is Tara with True Style. Give me a call when you get a second. This is August 4th. I believe I called her till the next day, confirmed what I wanted with the wig. I want to say I received the wig maybe... I had expected to receive it within a week because I had paid for the rush order. There was miscommunication. I thought it was going to be shipped out to me. Unfortunately, they thought that I was going to pick it up. So it wasn't even ready on time for it to be, you know, by the time it was like shipped and everything. I didn't get it on time. I was like, okay, whatever. There was miscommunication. I would have thought it was been, it was going to be shipped for me. My bad. Um, so I told her I needed to be shipped to me because I am from Bakersfield. She is located somewhere passing LA, which I had looked it up and it was going to be anywhere from a two and a half hour to a three hour drive for me. So I was like, I'd rather get it shipped out to me. And then I reached out to her and I was like, I thought it was going to be shipped to me within a week. She was like, I didn't know it was going to be shipped. And um, she was like, I apologize. Okay, cool. I get the wig and I, yes it's a beautiful wig of course i still i loved it but i was like this is not what i asked for i asked for a dark root more of a platinum look this is more of an ashy tone and that's it i washed it out because this one looked like more like this one when i first got it so i told her i texted her and i was like okay like you just sent it to me i've been waiting for it i i kept like pushing her on it. I was like, when am I getting the wig? When am I getting the wig? So I finally get it and it's not what I asked for. It's like, I think what pissed me off was that, hello, I paid $700 for this and you just sent me something that I didn't even ask for. To go and take a picture of the, of the paper that came literally with the wig that said 18 inch dark root blonde hair. <sighs> okay, so she said that she would send me a label, I could send it back to her, she would fix it, have it sent back to me. She was trying to fix the problem, don't want to make this story too long, but then she was like, I'm so sorry, I'll go ahead and offer you 50% off your next purchase. Because I told her that I wasn't going to send it back, that I already needed the wig, that I was just going to keep it as it is. But she was like, okay, for my mistake, I'll offer you 50 percent off the next week and in my head I was like why would I want to make another purchase after you messed up on my order and you're just offering me 50% off another wig when the mistake was on this wig you know like I expected at least well let me refund you at least some money because you didn't you know get what you asked for and I couldn't return I mean I could have returned it but I needed it already and then um, I didn't text her back. I was irritated and then she texted me again and she told me I'm going to offer you a complimentary wig. It's going to be a bob cut short uh, for my mistake. So I was like, okay, well, thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Okay, so this is a picture that I sent her. So I told her, can you do something like this? 
no doubt tiny tiny root with ash blonde and i'm on it and we'll keep you posted send photo before shipping so she told me she was going to send me a picture before sending me the wig which she didn't do so that's the picture i sent her and this is what i got you guys no dark root this looks like a silver color it's not even blonde like i said beautiful wig just not what i asked for uh she did tell me she was gonna refund me the 50 dollar rush fee uh since she had messed up so i asked her if instead of refunding me the 50 dollars if she could just add uh more volume to the hair so that on the bottom it would have fuller density on the bottom basically right so she says, yes, I got you. I'll do thicker density on Bob. Thank you so much. I told her, thank you so much. So this was back August 27th. And I texted her September 9th. Hey, Tara, I was wondering when I should be expecting the wig. She didn't write back. I text her the next day, question mark, question mark, question mark. She texts me, hi, Judith. I'm not in town. I'll send you a complimentary wig as soon as possible. So now I didn't write back anymore because I was like irritated. I was like, okay, I get it that it's a complimentary wig, but I would have thought that this was going to be done ASAP to basically make up for her mistake. So she said as soon as possible, this was September 10th. October 4th came. Hi, Tiara. Wondering if you have an ETA on the wig. I know it's complimentary, but thought it would be prioritized since the order I placed was incorrect. Hey, I would say about two weeks at most. I haven't forgotten about you. I have just been swapped trying to make things right during a time I had improper help. What's your email? Actually, a week not to expect a confirmation email in a few. This was October 4th. I put, okay, thank you, my email, blah, blah, blah. I didn't get a confirmation email at all. And then October 15th. Tiara, it's been over a week and never even received that confirmation email. It's going to be two months already and this has yet to be resolved. This has been such an unpleasant experience. And then she texts back till the next day. She confirmed the same day I told her to send confirmation email. You'll receive the free unit due to our mistake soon. And I'm extremely sorry about your experience. So she had emailed me uh, October 15th. I, I'm guessing, I'm assuming this was her assistant. And she said, Tara asked me to reach out to let you know that we are rushing your bob. I will monitor and provide track tracking by friday sorry for the delay and then she emailed me on october 19th hey did you get my email i was like yes i received it where's my tracking info she's like okay i'll send it to you by the end of the day i get my wig you guys and i told her that this was not what i asked for i'm not gonna go through all the emails but this is what i sent her i have finally received the wig today and thought this one would at least come in correct as for a tiny dark root, and here we are with no dark root, just how it happened with the last one. At this point, I was already frustrated, you guys. I was like, what the hell? Um, As for a tiny dark root, and here we are with no dark root, just how it happened with the last one. This has been the worst experience and definitely won't be risking on making another purchase with you. It's very unfortunate. I won't be able to recommend you with satisfaction. Thank you for the complimentary wig, but at this point, I should have just returned the first wig and asked for a refund. I really hope this doesn't happen to anyone else. And I sent her a screenshot of what I had asked for, which she had agreed to do. She said, I appreciate your feedback and we're sorry that we haven't been able to meet your requirements, requirements even on a complimentary wig. I can send you over a prepaid label to return the complimentary wig. Please confirm and I will make sure to have the prepaid label sent over to you ASAP. So at this point, she didn't even say I'm going to fix it. She just basically told me to return it. I told her I, that I, I would be keeping the wig after if she can give me my refund for my $50 because... If you guys see my pictures that I've posted, it doesn't look like it has a fuller density. I don't know what the what a thin one would be. She said the density is more than the original. We provided you with a complimentary wig that costs 10 times the amount of the rush fee. As a contrary, we will not be able to refund you any money since we, we provided you with a wig at an additional cost of $500. If you refund the comp wig, I will issue you a refund of $50. So, blah, blah, blah. a complimentary wig that still wasn't what I asked for. Two mistakes on your end. No, thank you. Keep those $50. Like I said, such an ex unpleasant experience. No need to reply. I, I was done with it. I was like, I'm freaking over it. And it's not that I was trying to be a bitch or anything, you guys. It's just if I spend that much money on something, you expect for that person to give you what you asked for, especially when you're blowing $700. So that was my experience. Um... I had a very unfortunate experience with her. I know it happened before to the person that gave me this wig. And it's just 
And, you know, I, I risked it and I was like, fuck it, I need a wig. That's the only person that I've seen that I was like, okay, damn, she does bomb wigs. And, yeah, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but bomb wigs, horrible customer service. Um, yes, I got a free wig out of it. I'm just going to obviously keep it because she did make a mistake and I'm not going to return this beautiful wig and just be like, yeah, give me my $50 back when this is still a beautiful wig it's just like what i said nothing that i asked for so that's my little story time i guess you can tell that the wigs are beautiful so like i said if you want to reach out to her that's on you guys it's going to be up to you this basically sums up the video so i will see you guys on the next one love you guys Bye.